We're standing in front of the scoreboard on purpose because that score up there, 21-20, the final, Stevenson University over Del Val today, ending the 54-game conference winning streak for the Aggies. And we're here with head coach Ed Hoddle. And, Ed, I'm just going to throw it to you and ask you about this game today and what it means to you and the program. Uh, you know, it's a big win for sure. Um, you know, the last time they lost was here in, in 2016. Exactly. And, um, you know, we've been close a bunch. You know, a couple of these, you know, three or four of these games have been one-score games. And, um, you know, an inch here, an inch there, a catch here, a catch there, a penalty here, there. You know, it's, it's been the difference in the game. Um, you know, the score doesn't surprise me in the least. Um, you know, they're a really, really good football team. Hats off to them. I mean, 54 conference wins in a row. It's, I mean, it's unbelievable. Um you know, let's hope this is the beginning of our 54 uh, game winning streak. But, you know, it, it means a lot. And I think the, the most important thing today was, you know, the, the guys never got down. Um, you know, we matured. We grew up today in a lot of aspects. And, um, you know, guys were, you know, even the guys on the bench really into the game, you know, supportive of their teammates coming off. Nobody panicked. Um, you know, there were some opportunities where things could have gone bad. Uh, and, and But the guys were able to right the ship emotionally and um, were really steady throughout the day. And, you know, hats off to the staff. Um, you know, they've been grinding pretty hard on this game plan, grinding pretty hard the last couple of weeks, trying to, you know, trying to find that first W, you know, trying to find some confidence. And, you know, today is uh, going to be a big confidence builder for us. And, um, you know, just, you know, great day to be a Mustang. So let's just zoom out for a minute. You come off a 30-point loss at Lebanon Valley last week. What happened this week or or or? Did it just happen on the sideline today? Like, what did you actually see on the sideline today from your team? Well, it was, it was maturity. It, more than anything else, it was a maturity where, you know, they, they believed in one another. And, you know, we talked uh, last week, Monday, um, you know, our program, we expect extraordinary results. Um, and I think it, it, through the first couple of weeks and maybe even part of the preseason, you know, we, we weren't extraordinary in our preparation. Um, and I think, you know, we talked about that every day. You know, did you get better? You know, did our team get better today? We talked about it after practice, you know, every day this week. And, you know, we talked last night about extraordinary preparation. You know, you want extraordinary results and extraordinary outcomes. Extraordinary preparation is key. And, and I think they were able to do that. They were, you know, able to get in the right mind space and, um, you know, again, they hung together and, and, and we grew up today, which is exciting. You told me after the game that Darius Henderson was actually the player who blocked the point after. Was there a play on? Like, what, what was that special team's play? That's, that's just our extra point field goal block. Okay. Um, when they scored earlier in the game, the first touchdown, he came off and said, Coach, it took a bad angle, but I think I can get there. Mm. And he was close on the second one, and then the third one, he got it. You know, he, he got it. And, um, you know, big play. You know, um, you know he's, he's, he's made some big special teams plays, making some big tackles today, you know, on, on some of the other teams. But, you know, super extraordinary. Kind of reminded you of Charles Greer a little bit, probably, if I'm not mistaken. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Charles Greer-like for sure. Right. For sure. Let's talk. So many players to talk about. Let's start right at the top with the quarterback, Jordan Adams, making his first start today. What did you see from him, and what did you talk to him about after the game? Well, you know, I, I congratulated him after the game. Told him I was really proud of him. Told him I loved him. Um, you know, here's the thing. You know, he, he's – you know, you look at Rowan, you know, not, not a great outing. You look at last week, not a great outing. Um, you know, he and I met uh, either Monday or Tuesday and, you know, had a really, really good conversation, you know, kind of expressed to him that, you know, we don't, we don't need you to win the game. You know, I need you to go out and need you to, you know, hand the ball off. I need you to keep the ball out of harm's way and, you know, you know, give us a chance, you know, let, you know, get it, get us, get the punting unit out there. It's okay to punt. Um, you know, and he really took, um, our conversation, I don't know, Coach Hoig's conversation, I know he, he came in last night after practice, you know, building's empty, and him and Coach Hoig spent about an hour and a half mm. going through the game plan last night. And, you know, it really just kind of took on, you know, to, to put the team on his shoulders a little bit, but not from a playmaking perspective. Even though, you know, he made some plays today, um, you know, forced, forced with his feet a few times, made some great throws, um, you know, but, but again, grew up and, 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 you know, allowed himself to be coachable and, you know, just I, I couldn't be more proud of what he did today. Biggest play was probably that fourth and six where he scored, uh, got eight yards on the run. That kind of kept that mm -hmm. drive. That kind of kept that drive alive. Also, your running back EJ Blackwell, a freshman, mm -hmm. um, power back. Uh, just talk a little bit about him. Yeah, I mean, great day. You know, for for a rookie. You know, we, we joke all the time about these guys. They they were they were at the prom like five <laughs> months ago. You know, and and it, it's kind of crazy. And you know, they're still trying to figure out how to do their laundry and make sure they eat all eat. You know, so um, you know, and, and a lot of fresh 
freshman play today. You know, there was a bunch of them out there that made plays. And, um, you know, Seth Parker and EJ and, mm. and, and, you know, Dylan's just a sophomore. So, you know, lots of young guys out there making plays today. Um, you know, but EJ did a great job and, and took some shots there at the end. And, you know, I never saw the ball wobble. I never saw any lack of confidence from him. And, um, you know, we're certainly excited about him moving forward. I thought your offensive line and your front seven controlled both sides of the line of scrimmage today. I think so, too. You know, that that – offensive line of ours is you know they're a physical group they're they're a mature group and you know we kind of put it on them early in the week hey man we're gonna lean on you we're gonna lean on you a lot um talked about it in pregame talked about being physical um same thing with the d-line you know kind of called them out a little bit earlier in the year and you know i, I coach that group and i'm hard on them and you know i think today's today's the, the day you know you, you realize why coach is hard on you and those guys you know they responded over and over and over and over again and um you know it's great to see so so you're going to celebrate this for 24 to 48 hours i totally get that but then what do you do after that how do you kind of bring your team back down a little bit to do it again to prepare next week and the week after and the week after. Well, it's it, you know it's the same thing. You know it's it's the extraordinary preparation if you expect extraordinary results. And you, you, we've got to we've got to again take the next step from a maturity perspective um, and attack next week. You know, starting on Monday. Obviously, you know, for us as coaches, we'll be back in. Um, you know, about 12 hours from now, we'll be back in starting on Alvernia and grading this film and, um, you know, right back at it. And then the guys will get into the film on Monday. And, um, you know, most of them will have watched it by the time we get to watch it with them. Uh, you know, but it's 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 being mature. It's understanding that, that you know, we, we've still got seven of these to go. And the crazy part about it is, you know, we're in the conference hunt now. You know, we've got, we're one and one in the conference and, you know, Del Val's one and one in the conference and, you know, I don't know what the rest of the scores are from today, but, you know, but we're in it, you know, we're in it, you know, to win, win the conference championship. And, you know, to do that, we're going to have to go seven and oh, there's no wiggle room. We, we've created an environment where the pressure is now on us. And, um, but I, I think they'll respond. I'm excited to get back at it. And I, I think they'll respond in, in a very mature, positive way. This is a great day for Stevenson football. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Ed Hoddle, 21, 20, the final, this guy's a head coach and that's it for go Mustang sports.tv.